Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Project title Identity Based Encryption with the Cloud Revocation Authority and its applications. Let's see the abstract. In general, identity based encryption is a public key crypto system and it eliminates the demands of public key infrastructure and also the certificate administration in conventional public key settings. Due to the absence of this public key infrastructure, that is PKI, the revocation problem is a critical issue in IBE settings. Several revocable IBE schemes have been proposed regarding this issue. Quite recently, by embedding an outsourcing computation technique into IBE, proposed a revocable IBE scheme with a key update cloud service provider. However, the scheme has two shortcomings. One is the computation and the communication cost are higher than the previous revocable IBE schemes. The other shortcoming is lack of scalability, in the sense that KNCSP must keep a secret value for each user. In this process, we propose a new revocable IBE scheme with a cloud revocation authority to solve these two shortcomings. These two shortcomings namely the performance is significantly improved and the CRA holds the system secret for all the users. For security analysis, we demonstrate that the proposed scheme is schematically secure under the decisional bilinear deputy human assumption. Finally, we extend the proposed scheme to present a CRA aided authentication scheme with period limited wages for managing a large number of various cloud services. Let's see the flow diagram. First, the user registration is processed. Here it is done by the username and the password are also stored in the specific database. Then the private key generation is processed. In this, for all the users, the master secret key and the master time key are generated with the user's ID. Then the cloud revocation authority process is performed. It uh, extracts the updated key and for the time period. Then Validity key extraction is processed by the private key generation with the help of user ID and the time key. Then the sender, that is the user login process is done. Uh, after login, the sender sends message or a file to the cloud revocation authority. So after it received, if the file is encrypted, then the receiver is logging and then to see the file the receiver have to decryption process and then it receives the file which was original. Let's see the random procedure. First run the home page. Now start the process. If the new resonance, you have to click register. If the existing is a common resonance, you have to go to the login page. So, for register process, click the register button and give the username. The date of birth is uh, entered in the format of date, year, month, and date. So, let's give 90 and then date. So choose the option of the sender, then choose the city, then to get the mobile number, then choose your name, then password, then click the register. If the switching means it comes with digital successfully, then you have to go to the login page. So user login, give the username and password here. So login, so valid username, 
we have to go now the private key generator and process is performed in this private key generator the user information are stored here then we have to generate the time key for for that click this the time key button the time key is generated by the private key generator when you click ok then we have to extract the identity key gen so in it goes to the cloud allocation process after the identity key is extracted the cloud allocation process find out the time updated key so choose the user which we want then their secret key is displayed here for the updated key click the update button now the key information that is for selected username the updated key is generated and stored in the cloud so after running the process the user is entered now so we have to give the username here that is username for the secret key we have to give the secret key here and give us enter so if the valid user means the username id is are given then we have to select the file so click the browse button and select the file where we have to choose so click the this and then open then we have to process with this file then if we file location is displayed in the file location button then encrypt the file so the file is encrypted here then we have to transfer so transfer was completed then the receiver is arrived now give the username and the password then login receiver's identity key and the updated key are generated so here is the username and the updated key and key are generated for the receivers so we have to go to the files for the file name we have to receive the test boxes and we have to review the file name it is in the encrypted format so now we have to decrypt it so here is the file display review means that the encrypted file is displayed finally we have successfully logged out